I'm so excited to be here today doing this uh, interview. Uh, we're going to be talking about amalgam fillings and whether they're bad for you and what's in them. Well, I'm Dr. Rachel and I'm a holistic dentist from Evolve Dental Healing, Kenmore in Brisbane. And I've been doing safe amalgam removal now for over 20 years. And I'm very passionate about providing mercury safe and mercury free dentistry. So are mercury amalgam fillings bad for you? Well, let me answer that by talking about, to start with, what's in them. So what's in those mercury fillings? Is it just mercury? Well, no, it's not just pure mercury. It is actually called an amalgam filling because it's a combination of metals. These include silver, mercury, tin, copper, and zinc. And this combination has been the most popular dental filling material, and it's been used in dentistry for the last 150 to almost 200 years. Now, dental amalgam is made up of those metals and about 50% mercury, and they're commonly called silver fillings, which I think is actually just a marketing strategy to make you, the consumer or the patient, think that the filling is mainly silver. So why is mercury used in amalgam fillings? Well, that's a great question. It's because it helps make the filling material pliable. So when you mix it in with the alloy or the powder, it creates a compound that is soft enough to mix and press into the tooth. But it also hardens quite quickly, and then it can withstand the forces of biting and chewing. So I'm going to come back to your initial question, which was, are mercury amalgam fillings bad for you? Well, mercury is the most poisonous, non-radioactive, naturally occurring substance on our planet. There is no safe level of mercury. Mercury is actually one of the most toxic neurotoxins, and it easily destroys brain tissue. It's a scientific fact that toxic mercury vapour is continually released from the amalgam fillings. Even dentistry admits that. This causes an accumulation of mercury in the body over time, and the body loses its ability and its effectiveness to remove mercury because of the overload. Now, this can cause health effects from mercury exposure like tremors, impaired vision and hearing, um, nervous problems, insomnia, emotional instability, birth defects, developmental delays in, adult, um, in childhood, and much, much more. How does mercury and amalgam filling affect the body? Well, if you have amalgam fillings, then every time you eat, chew, visit the dentist and get a dental clean, get dental treatment, or you drink a hot drink like coffee, then mercury vapors are released from the filling into your oral cavity where they're absorbed into your bloodstream, causing damage to the lungs, your kidneys, the nervous system, your digestive, respiratory, and immune systems as well. Now, the problem is these uh, mercury vapor it's poisonous, it's odorless, it's colourless and tasteless. So you won't be able to tell that it's there or that it's happening. Now, a single dental filling may release as much as 15 micrograms of mercury a day. And if you think that the average person's got about eight, then they could be absorbing up to 120 micrograms of mercury daily. Now, that's far more than you're going to get from eating a can of tuna. So why are we still using them? Well, the real reason that is still used is because it's cheap. It's easier to place, it's cheaper, it, and, you know, in comparison to the more biocompatible materials and methods. And everyone sort of sits with the excuse of, well, everyone's doing it, you know, so why not? But the truth is that they're really quite a primitive <laughs> material. You know, it's like being stuck in the Stone Age, and they can be dangerous to health. It has never been tested or approved, and it has been kind of grandfathered or in or slid under the radar because it was already in use. Can amalgam fillings be removed and replaced with safer, more natural biocompatible materials? Absolutely yes, but the procedure must be done with extreme caution and care. Many people now are deciding they want to have their silver amalgam or their mercury fillings removed. But if the procedure is not done right, it can cause a tremendous amount of mercury to be released and absorbed by the body, and that can make you ill. To help prevent this, safety precautions have to be used, like the ones we do in our office, so that the patient won't swallow or breathe in mercury vapour while the fillings are being removed. 
Now think about it, mercury vaporizes at room temperature. So as soon as we touch the filling with the drill, the temperature soars and the mercury vapor comes pouring out of the fillings. Then when you take a breath, it goes right into your lungs. So to prevent this from happening, we've developed a highly safe, state-of-the-art routine to ensure the safety of the patient, the dentist, and our staff. Now, this routine or process is called SMART. It's called Safe Mercury Amalgam Removal Technique and includes the use of special air filtration units, rubber dam, medical air, drapes, and respirator masks to ensure that we minimise any exposure to mercury. So where can patients or people find out more about this? Well, they can come along to our website at www.evolvedental.com.au. They can research and find a smart certified holistic dentist. Or if they live in the Kenmore or Brisbane area or they'd like to travel, as many of our patients do, then they can give us a call on 07 and booking for their amalgam removal consultation, and we'll take them through our six-step process to remove their amalgams and help their body detox from mercury. I'm Dr. Rachel Hall of Evolved Dental Healing. Thank you so much.